Hey everyone, it's your boy Lil Dublin. Today I just wanted to show what cards I got from Christmas and also just a couple gifts that I got from Christmas which were pretty cool. It was actually my first time like opening like Digimon packs, Elite Trainer Box, and the box is just super cool in itself. Uh, I just had the eight packs in it that I opened from Astral Radiance. And then like the normal stuff you get with it, like the dividers, the energies, and then like the pretty cool sleeves. And from the Astro Radiance, I was hoping to get like some of the cards in here that it had. And I kind of want to get a mill tank. A mill tank would be pretty sick. And then a feather ball would be pretty sick to put in the deck. And then I want to get four of these. As you can see, I ended up getting one of them. But I wanted to get four of those to put in the deck because those cards are literally good in any deck. Full arts and stuff. The Garchomp is pretty sick. Uh, Gardenia's Vigor is pretty sick. The Irida's really sick. Uh, and the only rainbow card I really liked was the Typhlosion. I'm not like a huge fan of the rainbow cards. Some of them just don't look the best. And I was hoping to get four of these. Not necessarily the gold version, but the, the uh, trekking shoes, like common cards. The Phalanx would be pretty cool to get in this set. And then this card is amazingly sick. Garchomp's sick and the Melanie's sick. Not a big fan of the gold cards. I think I skipped a page actually. So the Beedrill is sick. There's the trekking shoes. The Beedrill full art is sick. The Lilligant full art is sick. The Verizion is sick. And this is probably my favorite page. Like I would definitely want to get the Luxray, the Stormy, Typhlosion. The Jirachi is probably my favorite card of like this whole set. The Machamp's sick. The alternate Machamp is sick. The Sneezer V alternate art is sick. And then maybe the Samurott V is pretty sick. But anyway, there's like the checklist of what I want from the set. And I'll kind of go over what I did get. So we got one of the Gusty Pickaxes. And then we actually got some pretty good items, but nothing crazy. Like the Dark Patch is pretty cool. Uh, Switch Card is pretty good. And the Heavy Ball is good in some decks. Uh, Grant's pretty good. The supporters we got from this Elite Trainer Box were really good. Like Guardian or Gardena's Vigor. Uh, two Temple of Sinnohs, so those are really good stadium cards. I can't really use them in my deck because I run like a Fusion Strike hybrid kind of deck. Uh, then this one was kind of good. It's not my favorite, but it could be used in a deck, I guess. Just not mine. Uh, then we got a Regice, some Swinubs, some Psyduck. Uh, then these cards are pretty good. They're not like my favorite, but they could run in a deck pretty easily. Like a water deck. And then not too many good cards on the dark side of the Pokemon. The dark side of the Pokemon, that sounded weird, but... Uh, then some Yanmas. Electrodes are always really pretty good to put in a leaf deck just because of the, the non-energy attacks. And then this card was actually surprisingly pretty good. If you could run like an item search deck, you could do like up to like 240 with just this card. Uh, then some metal cards, we got the Magneton to power it up, Clank, and then some normal. And this Bronzog actually looks pretty sick, just as like a reverse hollow. The colors are really good on that. And then we, the Rock, we actually got quite a bit of cool ones. The Arcanines, and then the Ralts, Clefairy, Togepi. And then we got two Cyndaquils and two Quilavas and a Torkoal, so that was pretty cool in the fire. And then some Leaf Energies, some Beast Stars, and there's all the code cards. I'll just run through if you want them. I usually give like a week to put in the code cards. If you don't, you know, use them within a week, I guess I just end up using them myself. And then I actually did get one of the cards that I wanted to, a Full Art Melanie, which is super sick. Like this card is just awesome. So I had to top load that just because of the shine. Like, oh man, such a sick card. And then I got these two back-to-back -back from a Brilliant Stars pack. And this is actually like a professional card, so really good card to use in any deck. I wouldn't see why you wouldn't use it in any deck, but it could hurt you in like a, you know, like a heavy Fusion Strike deck or like a Rapid Strike or even like a Lugia deck. I guess that wouldn't really work. But then we got a Trainer Gallery uh, Flapple, which is pretty sick. And then some holographics, like the Keldeo is pretty sick, and then the Decidueye. Like here is a 
If you're a fan of like Naruto, this is pretty sick. Uh, Naruto t-shirt with Kakashi, Sasuke, and Naruto. And then a starter Kanto region, good vibes. So pretty sick on that with the Squirtle. I wish the Squirtle was the bigger one, but Charmander got the show. Then I actually got a Stranger Things t-shirt. That was pretty sick. And then I got a really sick hat. This is like one of those like mesh hats. They're like kind of like trucker hats. But just a sunny day's Pokemon with Eevee and Pikachu. And then I got some other stuff like pants and you know soap and stuff. Cause I must stink or something, but <laughs> like this is just such a sick puzzle. It comes with four puzzles with like three little ones and then a gigantic one. But I, I don't know, man. If you don't have this, I would recommend it. It's pretty cool just to have as like a sealed box. And then if you can complete the puzzles, it just looks really sick. Like the grass, fire, and water. And then some like more random stuff, just like the Snoopy glass, which has like glitter, you can freeze it. And then you know I had to get another soccer ball. So I love soccer, so I had to get that. Pretty much get into opening, like reopening these packs, because I opened them like off camera and I just kind of wanted to show what was in them because there was some pretty good stuff, but uh, I picked this up. This was pretty cool, a speed duel box. If you see these at like your Walmart or anything, they're like eight bucks. And like online, they're like 30. So I don't know, if you see these in Walmart, I would definitely pick them up and they're really fun and they have really good cards in them. But let's just take them off the, off the top and look what's in here. So I kind of don't even remember what was in these. I know like, so that's actually pretty sick. This is pretty much just like reopening all of these for me. So this is kind of cool. Crystal Cave, not a bad card. Shopping Center is not bad either. But I remember the Digimon. I don't know if it was this one or the X record, but one of these was so fun to open. Like I honestly want to open like so much more of the Digimon, but I can't remember exactly what set it was. So we'll see. But one of the packs had something crazy in it, like a really sick card. But these have like 12 cards in them, I think. But they have like hollows and everything, so they're just super cool. Uh, Blastmon and then a Dembermon. So I don't think it was the cross encounter that was really cool. I think it was the X record. I enjoyed opening the X record a lot more. So uh, these are kind of cool. I just don't know too much about like this set, I guess. But there's a Takikudo. That was pretty cool. Uh, let's go into this. So I bought this for the Zara Aura coin. That was a pretty sick coin. And then it had a Lost Origins pack with it. I think this is two packs put in one because this has a lot of cards in it. Yeah, it definitely is. Must not have got, oh, I got a buy barrel, so that was pretty cool to get it as a hollow. That's a really, what the heck? There's a Bidoof in there too. Wow, that's actually crazy. But one of these Yu-Gi-Oh packs has a crazy valuable card. So I don't even remember which one it is because I, I love Tactical Masters. And I think it's this one. It definitely is. Oh, it's not. Okay. One of these Yu-Gi-Oh packs had something crazy in it. And I remember what it is, but I don't want to ruin it. Power of the Elements, really sick set. I don't think I got two. Yeah, I just got a Elemental Hero card, which is pretty cool. Then I actually got a Varanus Soof, so that's pretty sick. Uh, we got a lot more Digimon than I thought. Here's another Cross Encounter. This is actually so much fun reopening this. Maybe that's something like people could do is just open stuff and then, oh, that's sick. And then just reopen it for like secondary fun kind of thing. That Blastmon's pretty sick too. So yeah, definitely not a bad set for Digimon. I just remember this one being a lot more fun to open. So I'd recommend getting this set. Uh, Pillow Maw. So, yeah, this card was worth quite a bit. I don't know how to play the Digimon card game, but I guess this is really playable. Yeah, man, like, look at that. War Greymon Antibody. 
Those are just super sick cards. Like Pegasimon, pretty sick. And I think that was a Leon Mon, isn't it? Yeah, I remember him from like when I was a kid. <laughs> oh, the, the really sick Yu-Gi-Oh card is waiting in one of those. And it is worth quite a bit of money. I don't know if I'm gonna sell it or not. Kind of debating it, but yeah, really sick right there. Meowcomon, uh, Matt Isharda, and Tora Takanushi. They just look really cool. Like, I love the artwork on the set. Like, Angel Woman, like, oh man. That's just so sick. Gazemon, and then uh, Ground Fang. But this was pretty fun just to kind of reopen these. I figured I'd just show what I got since I did open them on, like, my personal time and I never recorded it. Labyrinth Barrage, Runic Slumber, Joel and Lockbird's really good. That was a really good pack right there. All right, so this is the best for last. The most valuable card on the whole table is in this pack. Let me tell you, it looks sick. Anti-Spell Fragrance, Duelist Alliance, Quick Booster. It's right after this. But the Droll and Lock Bird, Collector Rare. Like, the Collector Rares look so good. They're like a mix between, like, ultra rare with like like the ultimate rare type of thing with the foil on the card it looks so nice and then like the the outside looks amazing but then that pretty much concludes everything for like opening stuff and just kind of showcasing what i got for christmas so if you like this type of video i guess if you could leave a like that'd be awesome and subscribe if you want to see more like it uh, Merry Christmas. Just remember the reason for the season. Uh, we'll catch you next time. Peace.